uh, but when you're looking at it, check out those teeth. Those, those teeth are uh, pretty awesome, and uh, and I'll show you a little bit about them. But this is the tooth that we got out of one of ours that had died uh, here a while back. And so from about right here where my, where my thumb is, it's all solid, and then from there down it's hollow. And what it is is every one of his uh, teeth has got another tooth that's growing on the inside of it. So when this one breaks off, this one, uh, just the other one just pushes up through and, and takes its place. Like I said, they've got 80 teeth in their head, and they'll go through about 3,000 in their lifetime, which is amazing in itself. Now you see how much of the teeth are sticking out. There's not a whole lot. All the rest of that tooth is down in those jaw sockets in, in each one of the, uh, uh, the alligators. And uh, if you're looking at the teeth, they're really not designed for doing a whole lot of chewing, reaching out and grabbing your prey and pulling it back into the water. And then they'll drown it and squish it, try and bite it a few times to kill it. And then if they can go ahead and swallow it, they'll do that. If they can't, what they'll do is uh, they'll hold it up in the air and, uh, and, and, and uh, shake it back and forth and try and rip off a piece that they might be able to swallow. Or let's say if it's a big dog or a big uh, deer or something like that, they may have it in the water and then try and do a death roll on it, trying to rip off something they may be able to swallow. Um, but anyway, uh, and then uh, the scoots that you see on the back, those are the ridges. Those are kind of a hard boarding material that creates a coat of armor for these guys. So whenever um, he's fighting with other alligators, and let's say an alligator comes in from the side and tries to bite his side, what happens, the scoots on the top, prevent the top jaw from penetrating and meeting up with the bottom jaw and that would be their strongest part of their bodies when those teeth are coming together and it creates about 3,000 pounds of jaw pressure when they're coming together so that kind of prevents that from happening and uh, open your mouth up a little bit more a little bit more there you go why do they have green on the bottom of their teeth algae it's a little bit of algae is all it is all the green in the water yeah but uh he is going to probably be about uh he should be turning about 30 years old uh, 29 somewhere around in there um uh, about the first part of the uh, middle of august is when their birthday is and uh but he's going to live probably a good 60 or 70 years i mean uh, that's an average lifetime for these guys is about that long so uh, uh, he's got a long ways to go and he'll actually probably get a little bit bigger he'll definitely get a little bit fatter but you can always tell a healthy alligator. Y'all see how big that tail is right behind the rear legs. That's a good indication of an alligator that's eating really well. A lot of times when we go find alligators in the wild that are nuisance alligators, their tail will be really, really narrow right behind the rear legs. And what it is is he's he probably left his safety area or his safe zone um, going out looking for more food. And, and that's usually their downfall, especially when they get tired from here. And, um, and normally what we find is that tail will be really, really narrow right behind the rear legs. And, and that's, a, once again, that's an alligator that's, that's lacking a good food source.